This is the best offense in Madden 23 that nobody is using. You got most. It has explosive run plays. Run. Glitch routes that beat any coverage. And won't play touchdowns that can score versus any defense in the game. Break yourself, fool! So if you guys want to see what brand new offense I'm using to get results like this, <laughs> stick around after the intro. The is here. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'm going to start using a brand new offense in the Buffalo Bills. This is probably my second favorite playbook, and I have seen some comments suggesting that you guys might want to see some plays from something other than New Orleans. On defense, though, I'm also trying something new in the Cleveland Browns playbook, and we all know nothing ever good comes out of Cleveland. Before I get into the video, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to Woo! see more, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section. And if you want to see more money plays from this or any of my ebooks, all you have to do is click the links in the description or the top end comment and have them sent to your email for instant download. I'm going to show you guys plays from several different formations from this playbook as it has several different offenses that I will feature in upcoming videos. The first offense is the I-Form Slot as this formation has several good run plays and a lot of one play touchdowns versus every defense and I wanted to stay in it the entire game but when I come to the line of scrimmage my opponent is in a goal line defense. So I pick a pass play the second time and it's actually locking up so far. So on third down, I chose the PA Flood as this route here is a quick man beater and I easily pick up the first down and then some before putting my running back on a simple wheel route on the next play to score to take an early lead. Break yourself, fool! You got most. On defense, I chose the Browns because I wanted to try a new defense from the Dime Rush, as this defense can do some unique things that the regular Dime can't. On the first play, the pressure gets home for a sack, but on the second play, it gets most of that back before picking up the first down to get to midfield. On the next play, the man coverage glitches out, leaving the tight end completely uncovered for the first before walking into the end zone untouched. Like, how is Tanya this good? What the hell is going on? As I plan to run the ball this game, so I'm going to do exactly that, as the 95 Willie is probably one of the best run plays in the game that no one knows about. Even though he is using a goal line defense, I still break through for a big play to get the first down, as I was one guy away from taking it to the house. On the next play, he watches that and stops the play for a short gain. So since he's running a lot of man zero, I decide to use the PA comeback, since every route in this play is a man beater. But I only need the zig route. <laughs> Thank you! Windows tinted on my ride when I drive in it. As it gets me right back in the scoring range once again. And on the next play, I hurry it up just to run it again for another first down. I try to go back to the PA flood on the next play, and I start to get some mad BS. What? Before I get sacked on the next play and have to take a field goal. Back on defense, I also want to try the 32 mug as it was a really good defense last year, but back then, cover 2 zone was also much better as well. So I pick a new man zero blitz, but it takes too long to get pressure as the cornerback takes too wide of a looping angle as it gives my opponent plenty of time to pick the defense apart with pass plays out of the backfield and crossing routes before I pick the DB fire 2 blitz that gets in lightning fast for the sack. <laughs> But the coverage is bad this year, so I can't run this too often as he almost scores on the next play. On 4th and 19, he decides to go for it, so I go back to a cover zero, play over the top. No! I go back to the same offense, and I see that he forgets to guard the running back on the fullback flare as I am already in field goal range before getting sacked on the next play and deciding to try another offense entirely where I'm not under center. So I switch over to one of my favorite offenses, the Pistol Open Flex, which is an offense that I've already made several gameplay videos about as well as a full breakdown on practice mode on my second channel. So if you guys want to see more, I will have links in the description as well as a pop-up at the end of the video, so stick around for that. He stays in the goal line defense, so I switch to the PA pin deep as every route here beats man, and the corner route probably would have scored if I threw it a little bit earlier. My favorite thing about this scheme though is the run plays as I switch over to the motion zone split to kill some clock as this play is best if you follow the motion receiver outside to get around all the size on the field. I get back to the PA pin deep on third down once again to get the first down inside the five before going back to the gun split slot to spread out this ridiculous defense he is running only to see everything is still locked up before I run it in with Jalen Hurts to extend my lead with only seconds left before half. On second half, I start off on defense and he changed his game plan at halftime as he decides to pound the rock on me as this defense doesn't have any second level defenders. So on first down, he gets nine yards before running the hurry up to do it again. Only this time I try to switch defenses, but it is too late. 
He changed his game plan on defense too as he is no longer in goal line, which will definitely open up the ground attack as I switch plays back to the motion counter Y as I almost score on the next play with my biggest run of the game before using the old RPO man beater motion glitch to punch it in. That's just too easy. I really don't have a defensive formation that I like yet, so I continue to use the 32 mug only to keep getting destroyed on the ground before the Madden BS comes back and completely robs me of a huge interception to give him a second chance on third and three, which of course he converts. Before my user falls down pre-snap on the next play and gets sat on, leaving the middle of the field wide open for a score. Damn it! I still have the lead though and I keep getting great field position he keeps trying to kick to my fullback, but since I always keep a running back there, I am always a threat for a big return as I start to drive in his territory. Since he isn't running goal line anymore, I go back to the I-form slot from the beginning of the game. I read zone so I hit the bubble screen on the stretch alert bubble to get 9 before he goes right back to the goal line defense on the next play. Oh, you mother... <laughs> okay. So now that I know anytime I'm under center, he's going to come out in this defense. So I switch over to the pistol offense again and use the RPO reflat wheel to get back five before getting stopped short and forced into a fourth and inches that I have to go for as we are now in the fourth quarter. I want to show him something new so I switch over to what is probably my favorite offense in this playbook, the normal Y off close, as I just want to spread him out so that I can run the ball. I motion across the receiver for extra blocking and I easily pick it up. Then the man BS comes back in a major way as I switch over to the Y sail play and make the same motion so that he thinks I'm going to be running again. I want to hit the B route but the tight end Rose is covered so badly that I throw it to him only to see that he just misses it as the ball goes right through his hands costing me an easy touchdown. I mean like what more could I do there? Then on second and ten I take the check down to get to a third and six before going right back to Goddard who is wide open for the first down only to see him not catch it again this time bouncing up in the air so that the cornerback can pick it off. <coughs> letting him right back into the game when I should be up two scores. And now the coverage is tight, but there's nothing my cornerbacks can do about it, as Tanyan is back to roasting the same coverage once again, before my cornerback completely misses the jam, only to let him take the lead with only one minute left to play. What the hell was that? He keeps kicking it to my fullback though, despite me getting closer and closer to getting a return all game, and this time, he could go all the way. We take it to the house. But if Madden wants you to lose, there's not much you can do about it, especially if you have a good glitch play, as he goes right back to the exact same play that he just scored on and almost scores again against my cover two. So I switch to cover three one more time and it works the exact same way as he scores in just two plays to take the lead back with 39 seconds left. Now the camera is shaking and I need a touchdown with only 33 seconds left, so I block six, including the running back and he's only sending a three-man rush, but it still gets home and almost gets the sack. So on second down, I just take the check down to get a little bit closer and set up the next play from the hash mark. I go back to the Y sail, which might be my favorite play, as it can score versus any defense. All you have to do is motion this receiver across, put the other two receivers on fades. I thought he was in cover four, which would make the B route the play, but when I see he's in cover three, I switch to the Y route. Break yourself, fool! And we take the lead back with just 17 seconds left. I switch defenses one more time, but I still don't have an answer for that glitch route as he gets in the field goal range on the very next play and waits to kick the tying field goal. I try to ice him, but it doesn't change anything. And of course I lose the coin toss because, yeah. I go back to man coverage since he is glitching my zone coverage is only to see him take a simple out route to the house for a 75 yard score on just the second play of the game. Like where was everybody? Oh come on! Back on offense I try to take my time and not force anything as I start by running the ball with the plan of going for two if I score, but then I make a poor read and have to waste it down. I see he was running cover two man so I switch to my best cover two man one play touchdown in the escape play. All you have to do is put the tight end on a streak and watch for the X receiver to beat his defender. Once I see AJ Brown get past his man, I know I have a touchdown, so I lob it up, only to see Dallas Goddard completely get in the way, stopping him dead in his tracks and killing the play. Oh, come on! I thought it was Madden BS, but now I'm thinking Goddard was paid to take a dive, as he was involved in almost every questionable play in the game so far. I go back to the exact same play, only this time it's cover three, and Goddard is open in the seam by about five yards from the nearest defender. He's a six foot six tight end, and he should be able to catch this, right? Of course not, as he gets completely bitched by a dude half his size. And now with the game on the line, I don't care if they don't cover Goddard at all, as he's clearly on the take. So I run out and throw it to Quez Watkins, who looks like he didn't even try to catch the ball, as the Madden BS is just way too much for me, and I lose the game. 
I definitely felt a little bit robbed here, but losses happen, and I wanted to show you guys this crazy game to let you know that I'm working on some new stuff on offense and defense. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this game and how it turned out. Other than that, if you guys want to see more content like this, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. If you want to see more from the offenses and defenses that I was using in today's video, I will have links to them popping up on screen. So just check that out as I'm sure it'll have a bunch of game. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. I'm out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.